Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have two hauls here. I have <clears throat> Yankee SAS and I have a Bath & Body Works SAS. Um, I only went to Bath & Body Works once and that's probably going to be it. Um, Yankee, this was two separate um, orders online because the nearest Yankee store to me is like an hour away. So, no. Um, not gonna drive that far. Um, Bath and Body Works is only like 25 minutes away, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Bath and Body Works, and the reason I'm combining it is because I really didn't get a lot. I had a 10 off 40 that I got in the mail, so I wasn't gonna use it. I was just thinking about giving my coupon away to somebody, and then it was like, eh, I'll just see what they got. You know, it was a day out for me and my daughter to go out with, have a girl's day, you know, so that's where we ended up. So the first thing I got was this Honolulu Sun Antibacterial Spray. Um, I love these things. They're really handy. I use them all the time. Um, this is the only kind that they had. Usually my store has like three big bins up by the cash registers full of these, but yeah, I wasn't... Whoop. I went like on the second day of the sale and I wasn't really that impressed. Normally my stores got better stuff, but it is what it is. I Let me say this. I didn't get anything that I went there to get. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. Okay. So I got, I love their hand soaps. They're about the only hand soaps I will buy unless I find a good deal. I like Dollar Tree on the name brand hand soaps because I have tried so many of the dang soaps. Um you know, like at the Dollar General and stuff like that. And I just, I don't like them. They're too watery. Um, yeah. So I got this Black Cherry Malo in the Gentle Exfoliating. I really like these. I love the packaging. Um, I think they're really neat. Okay, I got that one. I got this Fresh Lemonade. This fresh lemonade, of course, is, where's the scent notes? I don't see any. I guess it's just because it's supposed to be lemonade. Oh, duh, it's right here. Lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. And it says, summer bucket list. Have a lemonade stand. Go on a picnic. Soak up the sun. I thought that was really cute. I just now noticed that. The smell of this one. It smells like just fresh squeezed lemon. It doesn't smell like lemonade. I get no sugariness to it or anything. It's just, it's just a plain lemon. Okay. Um, next one I got was Island Margarita. I have to say the packaging on this is so cute. I would love to be sitting on that beach right there. And of course, Island Margarita is... Da, 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 da. Fresh squeezed lime and Jew. I, I I'm bet I'm butchering that name. Pear and sea salt. So I've had this many times before. It it does smell like lime and salt. Very 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 good. Then I got a couple body care things. I got one of their um, 24 hour moisture body creams and great. Fruit breeze. I do like grapefruit scents. Um, in lotion. Walmart has a brand. Is it a vino? They have like a lavender chamomile and a grapefruit. I think it's a vino. And I used to use a grapefruit one all the time. And this is a spritz of pink grapefruit, a bunch of iced raspberries, a squeeze of lime. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty much grapefruit. I got this one and my daughter's like, mom, really? Oh, you can smell the berries too. The raspberries, definitely. Yeah, on my skin, it's, you do get the pink grapefruit and those iced raspberries. Well, I wouldn't say they were iced, but raspberries, that's really pretty. Okay, and then I got this 
Hyaluronic Acid Body Gel Lotion. This is something I've never tried. Um, on the back, it just says it's uh, water is everything. It's naturally found in your skin. Hyaluronic acid is a water-loving molecule that promotes skin health. Okay. It's supposed to make your skin supple. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like a gel. It's like a, ooh. Now, if I put that on the same hand, I just want to see what this smells like because I haven't tried it yet. And what the consistency is, it was definitely gel. Okay. It is like an aquatic scent. So it reminds me of Mediterranean. What did I do that? It smells like this one. Mediterranean Blue Waters. This is the very first body spray I ever bought from Bath and Body Works. That's what it smells like to me. Yep. And then I got this Moisture Lock Body Balm um, in the water. I just thought it was cool. Just something different, you know? Just like that. And then you spin this, the bottom, to make it go up. I just thought that was really neat. Okay. Then I got some candles. Yeah. The first candle I got, three, they're all three wicks, is the Beach Grass. I do have to say this label is pretty. Reminds me of the beaches in Oregon. Where they have the dunes and everything. Okay, um, the scent notes are Morning Dew, Rain So Greens, White Freesia with essential oils. I think they all say with essential oils now. It's got the regular lid. It's really pretty mint green wax. This one is really astringent. This one kind of reminds me of the bamboo candle, just not as, not as strong. I do get the beach grass scent. I don't know. That's basically, it does have a floral, it does have a floral tone to it. It's a beach grass and then that freesia. It's not a scent that would be for everybody. You have to like, like the really, really sharp green notes for this one. Then I got Salted Pretzel Milkshake. This was the last one that they had. And this one comes with, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of tree bark. That kind of lid is creamy vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, gooey chocolate drizzle with essential oils. Now this one, the wicks are a little bit wonky. They're off center, bad, but we'll work with it. I like this one. It, I don't get chocolate drizzle. I get the vanilla, definitely get the vanilla, the creamy vanilla. I can smell pretzel. I know a lot of people I've watched that have reviewed this. A lot of them say they get like caramel and I've not heard many people say that they actually get the salty pretzel note. I get that. I can pull that out. Yeah, it does to me. Love it. Okay, and those were on sale at the time for $12.95. They did have some candles on a 75% off table. Most of them were the little tester candles, which I wasn't interested in any of those. And they had two of these, so I grabbed one, which is their winter candle. 
I've never had the winter candle and I know it's been out it's the lid it's been out for a long time okay this is fur needle and orange essential oils with uh, clove and citrus now I had this in a hand soap but never the candle I thought it would be good for winter I, the label is just gorgeous it's a little a little dirty I definitely get that clove and that citrusy note and I get like the fur needle type thing but that was great it's 75% off I couldn't pass that one up okay so that was my Bath and Body Works hauls now we're gonna get into my Yankee Candle okay the first thing I got was one of these charming scents in Sicilian lemon because I have one of the little dangle things in my car and for the most part these work fairly well um, usually I get the pink sands at Walmart they're like seven dollars so but you get like two where in here you just get one refill so I thought I would try the lemon because I love it and says rub and smell it doesn't smell it doesn't smell okay and then I got a charm it's the lucky clover charm to go on there that's so pretty I wish it was a four leaf clover though but that's okay it's pretty then I got some um, centerpiece easy melt cups which I've never ever bought before I got this one in Berrylicious and what I'm gonna do because I don't have a centerpiece thing I'm just gonna take the wax out because it comes out like super easy and I might keep these in case I get a centerpiece someday um, I'm gonna keep the thingies but I'm just gonna cut it up and put it in my warmers this is a good berry. It's so sweet and juicy smelling. Yum. You can smell like blueberry, blackberry. Yum. Okay, this next one is turquoise glass in the Easy Melt. I bought this at Walmart. You know, in the ones that have the six little round, I want to say cubes, but they're not cubes around, but you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty. I love that color blue. This is just a really fresh, aquatic, clean scent. So I'm really happy I got that. All right, what else? Okay. Then I also got this. Um, it's like a gift set. It comes with the juicy citrus and sea salt tea lights, and then it's got these little flip flops. It's like a tea light holder. It's really cute. And I should have opened it, but god dang it, I don't have anything to cut it with. So I'm just gonna have to kind of show you. It's a tea light holder, and it's like these little flip flops in the sand. So cute. Okay, so I was really excited to get that. Then I got some candles. This first one I got is Chesapeake Bay. It's Mind and Body, Joy and Laughter, Cranberry Dahlia. I love that frosted, pink frosted glass. Very pretty. I love the lid. It's just one wick. It's a very beautiful scent. It's just a very light floral. With a little bit of tartness from the cranberry, but the cranberry is not strong. It's mainly Dahlia. But like I said, it's just a very light, uh, Feminine, beautiful floral. Okay. Then I got one of their elevation candles. 
I've always wanted one of these, but I am not about to pay the price that they normally are, which is, are these $24.99? Or I know they're up there. This is, and it's 19.5 ounces. This is a sugared wildflowers. I just love these jars. They are so pretty. Okay, and with these, and they're two wicks. Beautiful. This actually says on it, this side down. So what you do is you put it down like this. You set your candle like that. So it comes with its own stand, which is pretty awesome. This one is really strong, and the reason I got it was Heidi to Scrap. That's her YouTube channel. She was hauling some Yankee, and she had this one, and she said that this was the strongest one that she smelled. And so she picked it, and yeah, I thought I would try it too, so... Yeah, it, to me, this one kind of smells like lavender, like I'm smelling lavender the most, but it is like a very herbal scent, very herbal, so I'm hoping that that throws good. Okay, then I got a full-size jar, a large jar of Meyer lemon, because I was just in the mood for lemon. Just, yeah, I had to have lemon. And I don't know how to tell <clears throat> when this was poured. I don't know. There's the back. I don't know if you can see. All them numbers confuse me. I don't know. Of course, these are the one way. This one isn't very strong, so I don't know. It's very dry, too. I mean, I can smell it, but it's not very strong. So, yeah. It looks like it's got a lot of oils in here, but we'll see. Okay. They had their three wicks on sale. Or three wicks. Oh, my gosh. They had their medium jars on sale for $8, which is... Yeah, quite a savings. I got chocolate layer cake. I love this one. I have had it before in the medium. And buddy, let me tell you, it threw like a champ. That's what that looks like. It threw like a champ. It does smell like a chocolate cake. Chocolate cake piled with tons of chocolate icing. And it threw all the way down. That's why I like these medium jars better for some reason. For me, they seem to throw better than the large jars. Then I got this uh, new scent, which is Moonlit Blossoms. Again, Heidi to Scrap. She had gotten this in a large jar, I believe. And so I'm like, I gotta try that one. She, the way she described it, it just sounds so good. Oh, this one is so yummy. It's like a floral, a light floral with sugary berries or something. It's got sugary sweetness in it. Oh, that's really yummy. And then I got Sunkissed Thistle. Sunkissed Thistle. I wish they put the scent notes on the bottom, but they don't. This one is different, unique. Uh, I don't know. I think this has some citrus in it. it it's kind of like earthy, but... It's got a brightness to it at the same time. I know that probably doesn't make any sense. That's the only way I can describe it. Earthy, but it's got a brightness. It's yeah. not like as heavy as a patchouli or a sandalwood or something like that. Yeah. 
I went over the 20 minute mark. The last thing I got was this butamous thing. It is a jar holder. And I liked it because it had the starfish on it. It's definitely a beachy theme. The crackle glass. Gorgeous! And I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think I only paid like five or six dollars for this. And normally retailed for almost 30. I remember when it first came out, I was like, oh my goodness. And it looks like it's got a little bit of a crack in there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it right there. Mm -mm. I will not be putting a candle in here. Does that go all the way through? No. It's not cracked on the inside. It's just, uh... The thing about Yankee that I like, though, they package their stuff really, really well. I have rarely had anything come broken. And especially when they, they ship a lot of these fragile things like this. Um, and with this being a cracked glass type thing, it is definitely would not take much to shatter this. Um, I see a few imperfections in here, but yeah, that one thing, like I would not trust putting a candle in this. I'd be too afraid that it would crack. Um, I know it's made for candles, but I'm just saying, I think that one might've got I don't know if it was in, in shipping or if it was just an imperfection. But anyway, I'm going to be putting one of the LED um, candles in here. I got one of those candles that has a remote control to it. And I have like little seashells and stuff like that. And I'm going to put it around the candle. I thought that would be really pretty. That's the reason I got that. Okay. So that is my... Um, haul. I mean, I could have done two smaller videos and done them separately, but, you know, I just figured I would put them together. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day, and I'm sorry about my babbling. I know that is one of my bad habits when I do videos, is just babbling about nonsense, right? So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.